everyone. Welcome back to Koya Plans and Creates. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit of my setup of my teacher planner 2020 and 2021 since school's about to begin and a couple of the ways that I'm customizing it and setting up my weekly plan. So this is an amazing teacher planner by Christy DeRoach and she has some really great stuff in her TPT and Etsy store. This one's great because not only does it have a teacher planner with all of the teacher essentials, um, you know, with goals and lesson planner, year to glance, standards, places for your professional development, etc. But it also has, using this tab at the bottom, a life planner section. So for those of you that like to keep these things separate, um, it has all sorts of templates and um, a place for you to also have like your own personal weekly that's, you know, outside of your school stuff. And they both have amazing stickers, um, both your life stickers, okay, as well as teacher stickers. So let me go to the, the teacher so that you can take a look at this. And this one is kind of by, um, by different things that you would need, lock, um, you know, the different subjects that you might be teaching, um, holidays, no school days, groups, um, professional development, first day of school, just all these really great stickers and they coordinate with a planner. And again, it all is included. Additionally, she has a lot of different templates that you can use if you just need something like a squared or lined pages dots which happen to be my favorite so there's just a little bit of everything here there's also a grade book section if you want to keep your class list so um i absolutely love it i used hers last year and um this is a different style i'm going to try portrait for my teacher planner for this year um so first things first is i wanted to customize the front of the planner it doesn't come with your name but just to show you quickly how i did that is uh well you can obviously handwrite it things like that but i wanted to do it text and i wanted to text a funky text with some shadow so um that's just a matter of hitting this text box clicking right here um writing whatever it is that you want in the front of your planner if you so wish and once you're there um i like to double click and kind of hold and once you select all if you hit this little box up here you're able to then go through the fonts that you have installed in your iPad. Um, I like using a lot of variety of fonts. This one happens to be a KG Happy. So um, once I do that, I, I can increase the font here, but I do it a different way actually, which I find to be a lot easier. Now, once I have the font, now I go to my lasso tool and I hit resize. And for me, I find it easier to be able to stretch it whatever size that I want instead of using the size there. So that's just a quick way that you can personalize. This is for any kind of planner that you might be using. So now I'm going to copy and I'm going to delete this because I already have it up there. But I'm going to use that same font for another page in here which is this beginning page. So I added my name, my room number, and my grade. And now I'm going to add in my school. I'm gonna use the same text box, and I'm just going to hit my text box tool, and I'm going to click on it. That way I don't have to find this text again. And so um, something I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, move this on over. I'm going to hit this text box here. I'm going to try to select all. And now I'm going to hit this. Make it smaller. And the reason is I want to have it all on one line. Once I have that, I'm going to go to my lasso tool and I'm going to resize it from here. And I kind of want it to fit nice within this box. And now I have my cover page for this planner um, completed here. Okay, so um, something else that I want to show you all about this planner is that you have a lot of different lesson planner um, templates that you're able to use. Um, you can kind of choose the one that works for you. This one has the Monday through Friday down the side. This one has it um, with four boxes and a place for you to put what you want to use at the top. 
Um, this one has the Monday through Friday there. You can put different preps here. Um, so again, and you can change week to week depending on what works for you. Again, a different kind. This one has just longer boxes here in case you have three things that you're planning for. So um, lots of different options for you to use. I also love this yearly plans page, even though I don't know how this will work this year with so much uncertainty, but it's a great way to kind of jot down some of the big events or big um, ideas that you have for the year. They have a place if you want to copy paste your standards. A great idea is to be able to put like a your internet window here where you can copy the standards for your state or county and you can insert them right in here so that you have them here at a glance. Um, a place for you to put your daily schedule. I took a picture of our school's bell schedule and I put it right in here. Um, and now as I'm getting my own class schedule, I plan to make a um, a little place to put that right in here. Um, I don't really have specials because I teach middle and high school. So I decided to put our class, we have a rotating block schedule. So I took a picture of that. This is a calendar that we refer to very often throughout the year. It has our AB schedule. And what I love is that you can zoom in at any point. Um, and I love being able to have it right here all in one place. This is the grade book that I was referring to. You can set it up for your different classes or courses. Um, you can write them in right there and then you can ha um, access them. Uh, here's a place to put your class list, etc. Okay, so I'm going to click on, um, actually, I'm going to go into here because I want to go into, um, we're doing a lot of professional development right now. Um, so one of the things that I've been using a lot is this professional development pages where I'm a nerd. I like to take lots of notes. Um, so I've been use, utilizing these pages to be able to take my notes for all these different PDs that we've been doing. Um, now, one of the things I did want to show you all when you're taking notes um, and your digital planning is a lot of times there's a slide or is there something that they're showing that you want to remember or you want um, and you can annotate. So what I do is I actually lift my iPad. I take a photo of, you know, whatever's on the screen that I am hoping to um, kind of log in. And then here you can always let me activate my tools. Um, once you have that picture in here, you can crop it. So these didn't look like this. I cropped it so that I just had the slide that I needed. And once it's cropped, now I can point, I can make little notations next to it. I can kind of make sure that I, I include what I need to know from each of these different things that they are talking about. But it makes it really easy when I try to go back to this. For example, in this current PD that we're doing, we don't have access to these tools yet. So I wanted to make specific notes so that when I do have access, I know where to go and what to do in these different places. So I just wanted to mention that because taking notes on your iPad is just a game changer. All right, so now let's go into uh, my August, which is where I'm at currently. And these were the plans that I used for last week. Um, again, a lot of professional development. I made notations on the side. And right now I'm just using the pre-made um, pre pages here. If I wanted to use one of the lesson plan templates, let me show you how to do that. You'd go over here to the little waffle and you'd go over here to where the, the lesson plan templates are located. So I, for example, particularly like the one here at the top. So I would duplicate. And once I duplicate, I would literally grab it and then I would place it exactly in my planner where I'd like it to be. You could copy and paste as well. I like the visual of knowing exactly where I'm putting it. So for example, I could put it right there so that it would follow my previous day's plans. Okay. Now, um, like I said, this has a lot of stickers. I'm not a big fan of going back and forth. So I'm going to open um, another good notes window and I'm also going to use these awesome stickers in a little bit. So I'm now going to open my planner again on this side and give it a moment to load. And here, um, I already have my stickers. I like the ability of being able to do this side by side and not flipping necessarily back and forth. So, um, we have a teacher work day basically every day this week. So I am going to, now in this planner, the only thing is that 
if you don't circle it correctly, I'm gonna show you what happens. It's gonna give me that take screenshot. You see how it cut off some of the words? So it's very important in this particular planner, in case any of you have it, to make sure that when you lasso, you don't miss any of the words so that when you do this take screenshot function, it comes out. If something else comes out, I'm gonna show you what you can do with that. So I'm gonna hit copy and over here, I'm going to hit paste and I can crop it. I can do a rectangle crop where I'm gonna kind of eliminate a lot of this white space and it's ready to go. And I can also make it whatever size that I want. So now I like my, um, I like it to be colorful. So I'm gonna use a lot of these colors and I'm going to take four more of these. So I have them all there already. So I'm gonna take screenshot. Again, I'm gonna hit copy. I'm gonna move over here, hit paste. I am going to crop. And again, I'm only gonna use one at a time. So I'm gonna use this yellow one here. I'm gonna hit paste again and crop. Now I'm only gonna use the blue one. And I do this so I don't have to copy paste on this side. You could do these individually. I just find that this is a little easier for me. All right, so those are there. Now let me see if there's anything in here that I particularly want to use. Um, it is payday this Friday. I'm not sure that I want to use, utilize my space for that currently. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. Now you can flip through these stickers. I particularly like to look at the titles. That makes it a lot easier so I know what I'm looking for. Now. These blank stickers are great. That's actually what I want to use. Okay, again, they kind of coordinate here. So you can use these blank um, spaces, which is actually what I think I want to use right now. Let me bring out my tools. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to grab four of these right there, take my screenshot and copy. All right, over here I'm going to paste and I'm going to crop. There's a lot of white space here that I don't want. I'm just gonna minimize that on the sides. And in doing so, I can extend it here. All right, so um, let me see if there's any other stickers that I want to utilize here for right now. Um, again, this is like a professional development week, so I think I'm just going to put it vertical. Again, I'm gonna copy. Let me add that on this side, paste, okay. Now I'm gonna do something a little different with this cropping. I'm going to freehand crop this. And the reason is I'm really trying to eliminate all this white space. I'm gonna go to the life stickers because this week is my birthday coming up. So I wanna just put a fun little sticker there. Let's see if this has, it might be actually on the teacher side, but we'll look real quick in case. I like these little to-do lists and plans. That's a great thing to add in. 
Um, trying to see if, and they do have these little cute tie-dye um, stickers that you can use as well. I'm going to, they didn't have yellow here, but they do have yellow over here. I think I'm gonna borrow one of these yellow stickers. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one, so. That's where I'm at right there. So I pretty much have this set up. Um, I thought that the birthday was here, but I think it's actually in the teacher stickers. So we are going to, but look at these adorable stickers. I mean, really so cute. Um, let me go back to teacher and let me go back to the template. And I know there's a place for birthday. There it is. Okay, so. Um, well, I love pink, so that's what we're going with. Again, my lasso tool. I'll come up here. Perfect, so that's that. Now, I'm gonna go to my study flow tools, particularly this is from Luxbook. Um, these are good notes ready, so I can kind of lasso them anywhere. Um, I'm going to definitely be on my computer all week, but I just wanna put some little icons here. Um, Perfect. And once that's done, I'm pretty much ready to write in my to-dos for each of my days, especially this week because it's a teacher work day. So, um, tomorrow we have a Quad K-12 online training. Pretty much all day. And that's something that I have throughout the next three days. So that's basically my week. Um, this is for the week of August 24th through the 28th of 2020. So I hope uh, this was helpful for any of you. You learned some tips on how to use some of these tools. Um, I will link all the stickers and the planner below if any of you are interested in getting this one. If you have any questions, by all means, I'll leave them down below. Any comments, I'd love to hear from you all. Um, I hope you hit like and subscribe so you can know when I have more videos posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.